The second thing here, as we're moving, are you see here? Yeah. What does it mean, you know, to make the cause of Christ our cause for living? Be willing to spend and be spent for the gospel. Amen. Be willing and ready what to spend and to be spent for the gospel. That is, commit yourself to funding the gospel with your resources, with your time, with your talent, with your life and your finances. Amen. Be let your money be on a mission. Yes, sure. Give your money, your time, your talent, the mission for me to live is Christ. Check your bank account. Check your expenses. If your money is going anywhere other than Christ, repent and turn around and make Christ. When you check, see how much went into the gospel. Amen. Every month, every week, every day. Check your talent. The talent God has given to you. The skill God has given to you. You are serving some dead Egyptians. <laughs> you are laboring for Egyptians. They will use you and dump you, God forbid. Amen. At your later age, and you regret that you have spent all your life serving them. Yep. And the day they will dump you, they will have no regret, no remorse. Yep. They won't even think about it for one minute. Right. And the only one that said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. You didn't remember him to spend your time, your energy. Sometimes people think spending time with God or spending time for God is a time wasted. Mm -hmm. You have lost your mind if you have that kind of a thought. You have lost your mind. It is only what you do for God that endures. Yeah. That is what will be duly appreciated. Amen. Apostle Paul said, the scripture said in 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 16, he said, I will gladly spend and be spent for you, for the gospel. I will gladly spend and what be spent for the gospel. You don't need anybody to tell you to give. You know that there is a work to be done. 2 Corinthians chapter 12 and verse number 15. 2 Corinthians 12, 15. I will spend and be spent for you. Gladly. I will what very gladly spend and be spent for you. That was Apostle Paul. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know anybody to cajole you? You give out of your free volition. You see a need in the kingdom of God. You give for it. You give your time. You give... I was giving finances by the grace of God for the advancement of the gospel, and I was doing it big time in the church where I was in. I'm, I'm on, I'm on uh, what's it called? People can tell you. God said, that's what I said, look, I don't want your money. I want you. <laughs> I want you. That's how I became, that's how I came into full-time ministry. I said, God, I was saying, yes, I want you, your time, your money, yourself, everything for the gospel. Everything I'm doing is for the gospel. And you have to be willing, gladly, not under any compulsion. It's a grace, and that, may that grace come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. The Bible talks about the grace of the churches of Macedonia. Look at 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 1 to 5. Can I preach like I feel like doing this morning? Can I teach you God's word like I feel like doing this morning? Yes. I can see glorious destinies imagine. Yes. This is the secret to a great and glorious life. Look at the scripture here, 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 1 to 5. It says, moreover, brethren, we do you to wit, we do you to wit of the grace of God bestowed on the churches of Macedonia. I say emulate the grace that is on the church of Macedonia. How that what in a great trial of affliction, the abundance of their joy and their deep poverty abounded unto what the riches of their liberality. They were poor people, poor church, but they were rich in giving for the kingdom. Hallelujah. Amen. They were poor, but they were rich in giving. For to their power, I bear them record. Yea, what? Beyond what? Their power. They were willing of themselves. They were giving beyond their power. Beyond their means. Praying us with much interest that what we should receive the gift and take upon us what? The fellowship of ministering to the saints. Verse 5, this they did not as we hope, but first gave their own selves to the Lord and also to us by the will of God. This church, they came out of poverty. They came out of lack. They came out of what? Because they gave them their resources. They gave themselves. They gave their money. They gave their all. Take my life and let it be. Consecrated, Lord, to thee. Take my moment and my days. Take 
take my time, take my all, take my life, take my finances for the gospel, for the advancement of the cause of Christ. You know what Jesus himself said? Jesus, our, our Messiah, he said in John, 17, John 10, 17 to 18, Therefore does my father love me. Why does my father love me? Because I lay down my life. I lay down my life. Nobody took it from me. I lay it down willingly. I lay down my life. Nobody took my life. Nobody took it from me. Don't wait for anybody to say, come and give this, come and give that. No, you are still in the elementary commitment and dedication to living for Christ. Nobody took it from me. Nobody. Nobody. I was in church by the grace of God many years ago and the church was going through scarcity. Scarcity. There was need. And I had money in my account and I went to preach. And while I was preaching, the Holy Spirit said, steer people to give. I was excited. Then he said, you give all the dollars in your account. I was under that ministry. I was working as a staff. Yeah. I honor my father in the Lord, you know, his memory to the very painful, but listen to this. Yeah. When I, when, when finished service, I went to the, I, I took dollars. The money I sold my factory for dollars, I, I said, when they counted the office, he said, go and bring me the record. I was, in this, I was sitting in his, in, before him. So go and bring me the record. Who gave this dollars? The money they are paying me, it's not even like a fraction of that. <laughs> he said, who gave these dollars? I, just, I didn't say any word. I just sat down there. I was looking at him. Because I know, I'm in the ministry, even my salary has not been paid. <laughs> but there's a need. And God said, okay. And they went and brought the list. I didn't say what. When he saw it, he said, you will never lack in your life. Mm -hmm. I remember him today. I just said the, the news today. He, he, he went on to glory today. Very painful. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Very emotional day for me, but I know he said those words to me. It was the same person that prophesied. I see you taking the gospel to the world. Bishop Gordon and Lomabo. We honor his life. Yeah. We honor his life. We honor his life. Yeah. But I gave it all. Well, I, I said, I'm a staff. I could say, hey, well, I'm well, sorry, they brought pain. We say, anything holding our salary, holding our salary. We buy it, we lose it. God says, please. <laughs> you look for, no, no, he didn't ask. I'm the one that preached. I, 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 he, he, he didn't even come to our branch. I preached in that branch, in the location. But that, that's what he did. Do I like anything now? That's not the great I can tell I don't like anything by the grace of God. Nothing. It was dollars thousand when, he, when he, he just began to pray for me. And there are no people also who are in the church who are there thinking, hey, they don't pay, they're just talking, talking, talking. I said, the one you can't even forfeit the one you I say, look, if they don't have let me just keep going. Let me keep going. No man took my life from me. He said, therefore does my father love me because when I lay down my life that I may take it again. You know the secret of David in First Chronicles, Chronicles twenty nine two. David said, and God, David said, "I want to build a house for God." God said, "No, David, you are you are you are killed too many people. <laughs> There's so much blood in your hand. I don't want you to build anything." David said, "Okay, even if I will not build, that's a man committed to God's cause." Yeah. Can I gather the materials? Then he said, now I have prepared with all my heart for the house of my God. I have prepared. Nobody told me. The gold for the things to be made of gold, not anything gold. The silver for the things of silver. The brass for the things of brass. The iron for the things of iron. The wood for the things of wood. Oil stones, stones to be made. Glittering stones. Glistering stones. And of diverse colors. All manner of precious stones. And marble stones were in abundance. Moreover, because I have set my affection to the house of my God, 
I had my own what proper good. He got it also, gold and silver, which I have given to the house of my God. I love the way David personalized it. Yeah, my God. He gave his all to God, his life to God. He, when, he, when he went to fight Goliath, he was his life. He had the skills, what it takes to bring down that giant. What are you doing to your skills in the kingdom of God? Your talent. There are things you can do in the church to advance the cause of God. But you are not doing it. You are waiting for somebody to come. You should go. We should make it our cause to go all out. We are praying for laborers. What about the ones we have in the house? Okay. Say, oh, man, I have things to do. I have, man, please, can you please keep quiet and hold your peace? <laughs> and go somewhere. <laughs> Give your time to God. When you, fi when you finish all the secular things, come and spend your time for God. Say, I want to. Okay. Bishop, can you, can you, what can I do? Pack trust. Give money. Give yourself. Give your all. That's what it means. Some devil somewhere will be saying, oh, whatever. They want your money. May your money perish with you. Amen. Yeah. Who cares about your money? Yeah. Souls are saving. And the souls are dying. You're talking about where you are, where they say to give for your money. What can I, you, you see, <laughs> if there's no cause for God, money is value, value, man, money is useless. I can tell you. The only reason money has value, it is when it is challenged for the cause of God. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Even your time, your talent. Receive grace in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I say receive grace in the name of Jesus Christ. To, to spend and be spent for God. That's going to be, you're going to be strong, healthy, happy, blessed, successful, great, and the devil can't do anything Amen. about it. <laughs> the devil can't could even keep up. Paul said, you know, I thought, I'm just thinking about to live or to die. I don't know. The devil was alive. He was around in the day of what they stoned in the day. The man wouldn't die. He has a cause. You know, you can't die if you are working for God. Yeah, you can't die because he's the giver of life. Until he says, until you say, oh, I'm ready, then he say, come. 